Welcome to our lecture online. Well, we've done the sine square of x, the sine q of x. Now let's try to do the sine to the fourth power of x. The thing to do there is to separate that into two. So in other words, this is equal to the integral of the sine square of x times the sine square of x. And then we're going to use the substitution here where we write each one of them as 1 minus the cosine square of x. So let's do that. Is that what we're trying nope. to do? Oops, that's it. Oopsie, we don't want to do that. We want to do the next thing here. We're going to write the sine square of x as being equal to 1 half times 1 minus the cosine of twice the angle. That's the idea here. The trick has to be such that we can lower the exponent. We don't want something to the fourth, not even something to the second power. We want whatever we can to be to the first power as the integrand. So we're going to write it as follows. So notice that each one of these will be replaced by 1 half times 1 minus the cosine of 2x, which means that in the front we end up with 1 quarter the integral of 1 minus the cosine of 2x times 1 minus the cosine of 2x. And of course we still have the dx. Now we're going to multiply that, that uh, together. So this is equal to 1 quarter times the integral of 1 minus 2 times the cosine of 2x. And then this times this is plus the cosine squared of 2x. And we still have a dx. All right. So now we're good. We have three terms. The first two terms will be relatively easy to integrate, but we still have the third one, which again, we have the cosine square of something. We need to reduce that to the cosine to the first power. If we can, then we can, because we can say that the cosine square of x is equal to 1 half, 1 plus the cosine of 2x. So we'll use this substitution, of course, instead of 2x, Instead of x, we have a 2x, so this becomes 1 plus the cosine of 4x. So this is equal to 1 quarter times, the first integral would be dx, minus 2 times this, which is 1 half, times the integral of the cosine of 2x times dx. And notice I left a little bit of room here because we need to find the proper differential. And then finally, we have plus, now we have 1 quarter times the replacement of the cosine square of 2x. Now notice we have the cosine square of x equals to this. So the cosine square of 2x is going to be 1 half times 1 plus the cosine of 4x. So we replace this by this. And 1 half times 1 quarter is 1 eight times, and I should have an integral sign here, times 1 plus the cosine of 4x times dx. Now we're going to write this as two separate integrals, so this can now be written as 1 quarter times the integral of dx minus 1 quarter times the integral of the cosine of 2x times 2dx. Here we have plus 1 8 times the integral of dx, and then here we have a cosine of 4x dx, we're going to need a 4 there, so we have plus 1 8 times, because we need the proper differential, we need to multiply and divide by 1 fourth times the integral of the cosine of 4x times, and I use red so you can see the difference, times 4 times dx. And now we have a proper differential. We can now integrate all four integrals. So this becomes 1 quarter x minus 1 quarter times the integral of the cosine of 2x is the sine of 2x. Then here this becomes plus 1 8 x, and notice that these two terms can be combined. And then finally, plus 1 over 32 times the integral of the cosine is the sine of 4x, and then we have a constant of integration. And now combining those two terms, the answer will then look as follows. This will be equal to 1 quarter plus 1 eighth, that would be 3 eighths x. Then we have minus a quarter times the sine of 2x and plus 1 over 32 times the sine of 4x plus a constant of integration. 
and that will be the answer, the result, when we integrate the sine to the fourth power of x. And that's how it's done.